Okay, YouTube and Sendar here. Uh, video today on using the Xbox 360 controller. <clears throat> Black Desert does have built-in compatibility with controllers, and it's actually really good. Uh, you know, a lot of games have it, but are terrible with it. Uh, this came up recently with a guy in Guild who was who just got a controller and asked me how to set it up, and I had to send a bunch of screenshots. So I'm just going to do a video with how I've set this one up. That works pretty well. Okay, so I had a little problem with the controller up here in the upper left working. I think I got it working now so you can see what I'm doing here. For controller set up on the 360, first you want to go over here into settings, game, use gamepad, and vibration or not, depending upon what you want. Hopefully this works where you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so at the end I'll do all the different, I'll show you all the different hotkeys I set up for this. And you can see, hopefully while I'm doing this, what the commands look like. So it's really fluid, fast response times. You might still prefer keyboard mouse in uh, PvP situations. And this does take a couple days to get used to. You want, probably want to just start grinding on some low mobs to get the hang of this. The green bar is actually the trigger. All right, so there we have some basic stuff. The one thing about how I've set this up is it works well with mounted combat too. Which is a big thing and one of the things that can cause a lot of problems if you're just setting this up for the first time. I'll show you a little bit here. Sam is running now with lightning. This is pretty helpful if you're going for any titles. And yeah, you can use mana absorption or whatever it is. Residual lightning. So the setup I have now, you've got all the skills over. Really easy to use on that controller. This is a lot of fun too because you can just kick back and not be stuck at a desk hurting your back and getting carpal tunnel all the time. I actually switch back and forth between these two. Works out really well. So anyway, let's go into what I have for the setup here. All right, I can see this is still working. All right, so for settings, and you can change this to get it to where you want. The default is okay, but I ran, like I said, I ran into a lot of problems switching between mounted combat and normal. Okay, so I will just go slow here and you can pause or slow down the video. Let's see, uh, shoulders for the functions, just a uh, left stick for movement. Main attack, secondary attack, evasion will be sprint, of course. So you set these up the way you like. You can set it up just like mine and, you know, get used to this maybe in a couple hours of grinding and you're going to love it. Or you can modify it to your own needs interactions with NPCs and whatnot, trigger, auto runs. I put a lot on the D-pad. Special actions, this comes into play too when you're on mounted to get all your skills working. Switch to awakened. <clears throat> As you can see for hotkeys, I have all 20 set up down here. And I guess there is some saying that, uh, you know, if you use hotkeys, it uses more resources or whatnot. That might be true for wizard, you pretty much have unlimited resources and you never really need pots anyway. So this might be different for different classes. So let me just go to the function keys here and how I have these set up. So first four, function plus the buttons. Next four, function two plus the buttons. Then I do function, D-pad. 
one and then function d-pad two, and then function one and two and the d-pad again. Works out really good. You have 20 skills ready to go. Can instantly spam them and do combos, no problem. To set up that, you're gonna wanna use custom quick slot if you only have 10 to make sure you get all 20 set up. Of course, for potions and stuff, or uh, let's say tea, you know, tea or water in the desert, you can just put those on too and then instantly collect them while you're fighting. So, works out really well. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so I think we got through all the functions. And you can set up more of these too. Like I said, I do switch bef between this. The short is great, just kick back and, you know, if you're doing gathering or even just simple grinding, it works out great. And of course, function one, function two, inventory block spirit, world map player information. Really easy to pull these up whenever you want. Mouse for the finer things, it's just quicker than the controller. So I'll just put this on one more time. Hopefully this will help you out. And that's everything I've got set up. If you have a better way, you know, by all means do a comment. This has worked out really well for me and I hope this helps you out. Subscribe for more Black Desert stuff and to get notifications whenever I put something new out. And I'll see you guys in game. Thanks a lot.